Hello everyone. Today we will see how we can plot grouped column graph. Uh, we used to plot this kind of graph when you have when we have a two independent variable on x axis. So here we can see that we have a two independent variable. One is voltage and another one is the combination and named it sample S1, S2, S3. So to plot this kind of graph, uh, we use the grouped column function uh, grouped column plot in the origin so here dependent parameter is our uh, energy consumption with the standard deviation so let's go to the origin and we will see how we can plot this so we will select the all the data and come to the origin and i will paste all the data to plot the group column first of all this three belongs to 100 volt to we need to fill this with the 100 volt and uh, this one with the 200 volt after filling this next step is to convert this one also as x axis and standard deviation as a y error once we did this select the all the data go to plot and go to the categorical and select this group column so i can see here there is no preview you can see the hint also how to plot this one so here we need two x-axis so first is a1 which is considered as a 100 volt and 200 volt a second we need to add the b column which is a sample so it has been added here so simply click on it so this is our group column so few things we need to rectify here is so is three column is s1 s2 s3 same thing is there also either you can remove this one or whether we, we, we can remove from here so better to keep keep this one and remove the from the x-axis to do axis so simply right click on it go to the property and here we can see the tick label so bottom one represent the this one the bottom one and we need to remove the sample name because we have already here so we need to remove the bottom two so simply untick the so and we will apply it as we can see that the this part has been removed the sample name is removed simply click on it okay so we can see that the same thing is here also so this is how we can plot the grouped column graph in the origin thank you so much